Hey everybody, it's Journey and I'm here to do a quick, hopefully quick video about um, cloth diapering. And this video I'm going to title The Truth About Cloth Diapering. Of course, this is from my perspective, not statistics, nothing like that. Just my truth from my experience. I will say this about myself is that I think people should know. I am not um, an organic girl. I am not... Uh, um all about the environment and, and all that kind of, you know, health and green and all of those things. I am not. Um, I'm not trying to conserve the earth or anything through cloth diapering or anything else. I am doing cloth diapering strictly from a financial standpoint. I am not one to spend my money on something I don't have to. And if I don't have to pay for diapers every week um, and I can use that money for something else, I will do that that's just the type of person I am so with that being said these are my truths about cloth diapering number one it is not for everybody um, he's sitting here kind of sleeping kind of waking up um, it's not for everyone so with um, cloth diapering not being for everyone um, I just want to say that everybody does not want to have an intimate relationship with their child's poop or their pee. So, um, that's okay. It's not for everybody. Um, and I never want anybody to think that, um, you're better, you know, it, that really should be number two. Um, number two, I'm going to number two. Being a cloth diapering mom does not make me better than a disposable diaper mom. It really doesn't. It just means I, I do a little more on a regular basis as it relates to diapering. It does not make me better. And um, that's that. So that's number two. My numbers are... Now I have to keep my numbers in mind. So that was number two. Number three... Um, is it does not have to be expensive if you go out to some of the cloth diapering stores and the um you know even on the internet the cloth diapering stores you can pay upwards to thirty dollars per diaper close to thirty dollars per diaper for some of the more um known brands so i'm going to say it does not have to cost that much. I pay four dollars or some for something per diaper for my son baby diapers, and I don't have a problem with them. I've only been using them for a week, so I'm not at all an expert. But like I said, I don't believe in spending my money on something um, if I don't, you know, unnecessarily. And that includes brands. I'm not a brand name person either. I like brand name stuff, but I'm not paying the brand price for for some leggings I can get with no name on them. You know what I mean? It's I'm just not that kind of girl. Okay, number four. Um, actually, this is number five. Every experience is going to be different. Um, some people do it, love it live by it other people do it hate it never want to see a cloth diaper again and you know that's fine every experience is going to be different and every experience with every child is going to be different your one child may do great with cloth diapering another may have allergies to fabrics things like this you never know so um knowing that every experience is different I don't want anyone to see themselves as a failure if it doesn't work. And um, I don't want you to look at anyone um, as a failure if they um, decide against it after trying it and it works for you. You know what I mean? So with that being said, um, that was number five. Number six, um, I'm going to say your baby will not know the difference. Bryce doesn't care as long as his butt is covered. He cries whether I change a cloth diaper or a disposable diaper. It does not matter. <laughs> he don't know. He does not have a clue what is on his bottom. Um, I will say he doesn't get as fussy um, when he's wet or any when he's wet because um, he doesn't feel it like he would. Um, 
and uh, disposable, I guess. I don't know. But when he's wet, he really doesn't get fussy. When he's poopy, he does. So they really don't know. Um, number seven, fluffy butts are very cute. I love it. Little put puffy booty and all of that. But he can't fit a lot of his pants because of his fluffy butt. So I have to upsize his pants to accommodate the cloth diaper. So um, if you are considering cloth diapering, know that um, the fluffy bottoms, and they do have more trim ones that you can buy that, that won't cause as much fluff. But I'm not going for all that. I can just put him in a bigger pair of pants. Um, so fluffy butts are cute, but they do need bigger pants because of them. Um, so that's another truth and I think I just have one more truth and that truth is that there are items out there that make it easier but you don't have to buy them all. The one item that I found most um, beneficial to us is the liners and it kind of looks like toilet paper I'm showing it real fast um, and it's just a thin like you just sit this inside the diaper this has been the most beneficial to me, nothing else. And I do have a diaper sprayer I haven't even started using yet. Um, and we'll talk about that in a second. But you don't have to buy it all, every single thing. Um, start with the basics, the necessities, and go from there if you're going to do it. Um, but this just kind of keeps his diaper from getting too dirty when he pulls. Um, and I can just drop this in the toilet and flush it with his poop. So, um, be that, that's been the most beneficial thing for me. Um, but that's it. That's the truth. That's the truth. That's my truth. So if you have some truth about cloth diapering, you would like to share, um, please do. That's all. <laughs> I'm done. Be blessed and have a great week. What is today? Tuesday. Bye.